Hello and welcome to another very warm day. Uh, 90 degrees in here today, a little bit less than yesterday. Still blooming up though. Today I'm going to be reviewing Innocent Gun and their Passion Fruit Pale Ale. And it says, their bump says it's this Passion Fruit Pale Ale is sunshine in a can. Think palm trees, white sandy beaches, and blue skies rolled into refreshing blonde, uh, bland. No, refreshing burst of exotic flavour, combining spiky mosaic and citra hops with juicy passion fruit. And it says it we brewed a pale ale that's brimming with tropical character, fun and sunshine. There's enough in this can for everyone. I think that was a bit of a song there, wasn't it? So, let's see what it tastes like. Another hot day today, 30 degrees. Tomorrow's the big one. I mean, it reckons in some parts of the UK, 37, 30 bloody seven. Hey, we don't need that rubbish, do we? I mean, 24's nice, 25, but 37? I bet the people in Cornwall and London aren't happy about that. You know, it's, uh, if you've got aircon, or go to a supermarket, go and stand on the fridge aisle. I went to Asda tonight. Just stood on the fridge aisle, it's like, oh, I'm loving this. So yeah, golden amber pour, plenty of carbonation and lacing, white head. Oh yeah, definitely some more that passion fruit, 4.4%. Doesn't really tell you anything on the can. Oh, it does. This cheeky little number is bursting with refreshing exotic fruit flavours combining... Oh, that's, he's already said that. Well, right, not going over that again. Oh. Mm. Definitely a tropical taste to it. You know, it's nice. It's, uh, it's different. And on a day like today... You know, we don't get we don't get many days where it's this hot in a year. You know, um, obviously we're having a three day, uh, maybe even a four day. Looking at Friday, Friday looks like it's going to be hot as well. But uh, we don't get many days where it's this hot. So, so you know, you have to take the rough with the smooth. Unfortunately, and, you know, especially if you work outside like I do, it's uh, it's not easy. So um, you know where you would normally do. X amount of work you do X amount of work on that day or you you change what you do you know you you do work that's not physically demanding because one thing is you know the only person you're going to kill is yourself uh, you know in this weather so you know um, and none of us none of us are you know that strong we can go for any type of weather but anyway back to this Innocent Gun I've got to say Innocent Gun do some fantastic beers and I've got that many different beers to review and I'm trying to you know I'm trying to uh, make sure that I don't review like uh, do five reviews from Titanic on the row or Bad Company or Harbour or Thornbridge you know because I've got a lot of their beers and you know, just trying to vary the reviews, which is why I keep looking and I'm thinking, should I review? No, 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 I'll wait, you know, wait for it to come along. And uh, I haven't bought any beers now for a week or so, so trying to be good. Mm. Now, the reason I've chose this passion fruit, just to, oh, doors open. Just to give me a hint, remind, remind me what passion fruit tastes like. And obviously, it's a lovely tropical flavour to it. Just reminds you of being abroad, you know. And uh, I'm ready for one of them sorts of holidays I am. We've sacrificed two years now to stay in the UK and do like mini breaks. But next year, definitely back abroad again. You know, um, I think a nice uh, week in uh, Port Aventura, at Salou rather. Uh, and go back to our one of our favourite theme parks in the world, you know. Especially now, my little one's big enough. It's uh, you know, it's good. So this beer, 
Definitely one that needs to be drank at a cooler temperature. Not many beers are good at this temperature. It's funny, isn't it? Because a lot of beers do don't are not good when they're chilled. You know, they're not. Only the golden beers. This is probably a, a better chilled beer than it is, um, you know, warm. But obviously, you know, um, when you drink it at different temperatures, you get different flavours. So sometimes it's it's good just to try it at that temperature. I mean, what it is to me, it's, it's a very nice, pleasant beer. Definitely passion fruit on the aroma. Same on the taste. Hoppy back end to it, but pleasant. Very pleasant. I drank a, a beer the other day called Thrill Seeker from Oakham Brewery, and that was as blooming intense at the back end of any beer that I've had. You know, it, it of intense beers, it's a top 10 intense beer, uh, along with Stone's go to IPA and London Beer Factory's uh, Berliner Weisse. They are beers that blow your um, taste buds to bits and uh, sometimes yeah sometimes it's good to do that but it's not a beer you could have two pints of in a pub one pint is enough you know it's this to me is more uh, more of a, 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 a repeatable beer not a session I don't know if it's a session one but it's certainly more repeatable you know And on a day like this, with blooming baking, you know, it's nice to uh, have something that's pleasant, that goes down well, you know. We don't want to be having something that goes, oh, bloody hell, I can't drink that, you know, and you're having to struggle to get it down. You, you want something that you can quite comfortably drink and drink quite quickly, you know, just to quench the odour first. <sighs> when I mean, it's that warm, I put the computer on upstairs to upload a video. Because uh, obviously, I've had to take, I've had to just switch off the webcam at the moment because it's too laggy. Uh, I'm hoping these videos come through better. Um, the computer upstairs, because of this heat, the fans on full blast, and even my computer's struggling, and it doesn't normally struggle. So it just shows you how hot and humid the the rooms are. I mean, we had that thunderstorm last night. I don't know if everyone had it. Uh, we in Nottingham, so. I had my son dive in the bed at about one o'clock. Bear in mind, I'm struggling to get to bloody sleep as it is. My son dived in the bed at one o'clock. And uh, so we're all boiling. And uh, he had one of his night terrors, you know. Sadly, a thing with uh, autistic children. It's, you know, it's something... I mean, I know all kids have nightmares, but he has a lot. And then, all of a sudden, bloody hell. The biggest crack of thunder and lightning... And the rain was so intense. Anybody in a flood zone, I, I you know, I really uh, worry for you because. Um, and then it must have been, it must have gone quiet for a bit. And then another hour later, obviously you got your windows open because it's so bloody hot. And then it did it again. And the wife had to go up and shut all the windows because it was the water was pouring in the windows. It was that intense. Thank God I lifted, closed one of the windows in her car last night because she left it open by mistake. Uh, but, uh, luckily I managed to get some good sleep, so I wasn't. I was quite energised this morning. Um, so Boris Johnson <laughs> is the new prime minister, and the only thing I don't agree with what he said so far is tax breaks for the super rich. I'm thinking, hold on a minute. These, a lot of these super rich pay little in tax anyway because they fiddle like hell. Share it out. But a lot of the stuff he said, I agree with, you know. Uh, I didn't vote leave or go. Uh, I sat on the wall. But, you know, I accept that Brexit is probably the best thing for this country in the long run. Uh, whether you like it or not. But, at least now, we might have a Prime Minister who gets Britain going and I think he will get help from America and Trump. I think the Americans 
or will, well, Trump in particular, will come to our help. But remember, Hillary Clinton was, wasn't going to favour us at all. And, you know, some of the stuff she come out of, and I think so, hold on a minute, if the British public have chosen Brexit, then you, as a supposed friend of Britain, are saying, oh, we won't hold you in any ice team. Well, don't you think a lot of Americans are thinking, hold on a minute, you know, Britain, America, eh? We came to, you know, we both come to each other's aid in certain conflicts around the world. And, uh, you know, I won't happy with her over that. I mean, Trump's done some things that are funny and not so good. But, you know, America first, Britain first, you know. We should look after our own first, look after our country first. We can't fight the world's battles. It's not for us to be put in that position. But, uh, you know, we need a decent army. We need a decent NHS, decent police and all that. But then you also need to be taxing the likes of Google, Facebook, Amazon. These people, these modern businesses are making massive amounts of money through advertising and that of the British people. And they're paying a flipping pittance for it. Ah, that's the waggy rant over. Yeah, I'm sure there's people out there who agree. But anyway, back to the beer. I do like to go on these um, little things, you know. But it's, it's nice sometimes to have that rant. Because uh, so I'm liking this. It's, uh, it's going down a tree. Four point four percent. There's a fruitiness to it, but it's not a fruit beer. So don't be worried if you think passion fruit pale ale. Don't like the sound of that. It's fruit. It's not. There's it's an elements of fruit. The, the taste is there, but it's not just. It's not like Fruly or the Bacchus beers, where they are fruit beers. You know, you. It's all about the fruit. This is um, passion fruit, but it's. You know, and it's like a normal beer, really. So it's nice, you know, if that's what you're after. I mean, for me, I'd love to see a, a full-on version, but... Ooh. So, a very nice uh, pale ale. Uh, Innes and Gun again deliver some good beers, uh, our Scottish friends. Um, out of five, then. That, to break it down, golden amber pour, good lacing and carbonation, white head, passion fruit on the aroma, passion fruit on the taste, nice hoppy back end. Uh, overall, a very nice tasting beer. Out of five, 4.4 out of five. I thought that was really nice. I'd like to have it chilled, but hey oh, you know, um, I can't be taking it off my beers to the, the fridge, the wife will moan like hell. Uh, so, you know, I'm stuck with what I'm stuck with. Uh, the winter months, they'll all be chilled because they're bloody freezing stuck down here. But uh, that's, as, that's as maybe. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.